cultivated in a lab. It is created by taking a small number of cells from living animals and nurturing them in a controlled environment to develop into edible tissue. So cultivated meat, put really simply, is real meat that is grown from animal cells. So if you imagine the meat that we have loved and eaten for tens of thousands of years, um, the meat that we cultivate is actually biologically the same, but it's made in a whole new way. Now US has approved the sale of lab-grown meat. Singapore was the first country to allow it. It turns masses of chicken cells into cutlets, nuggets, shredded meat and satays. Now this meat is being referred to as cell cultivated or cultured as it emerges from the lab. The cultivated meat is grown in steel tanks. The cells are sampled, screened and stored in a cell bank. It can be used for at least 10 years. Unlike plant-based meats, cultivated meat uses animal cells. Hence, it is not considered vegetarian. Rigorous testing and assessment have confirmed that cultivated chicken products are safe for human consumption. As per reports, it does not taste like the classic version, but the taste is more or less similar. The move launches a new era of meat production aimed at eliminating harm to animals. It is said to drastically reduce the environmental impacts of grazing, growing feed for animals and animal waste. However, critics have questioned whether the specialized resources and energy required to produce the meat will have any significant impact. Now, it's expected to be expensive initially. The companies plan to first serve their product at high-end restaurants before scaling production to reach a lower cost for grocery stores. For some period of time, I would say it's at least two years probably more than that, it'll be very small volumes. So think less than 5,000 pounds sold. And ultimately to get to a point where no matter who you are, you know, if you're hearing this, it'll be in your local grocery store, in your local restaurant, we'll need to build much larger infrastructure. However, it will likely be years before shoppers can buy lab-produced meat in grocery stores. This only matters when the world gets to a place where an everyday person can go in an everyday grocery store and the core option is the one that is healthier, more sustainable, the one that didn't even require touching or even looking at an animal. Um, when it gets there, then the world changes. Until that, we're still in the, in the early days of making this work, but we're getting closer. Globally, more than 150 companies are focusing on meat from cells. Not only chicken, but pork, lamb, fish and meat.